Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another taste test. This time we have the Autumn Box from Futsa. Now, I think I'm a little bit late in uh, doing this one uh, since I've already seen a couple of these out on the shelves in shops already, but we've got some new things from Futsa which have come out just over the past couple of weeks. We're gonna try them, see if they're any good or if they're not. There are definitely some interesting looking things here, twists on some classics. So I'm interested and excited to get into this. So let's do it. So there we go, there's a little sneak peek of what's in uh, this season's box. But we are gonna start actually with something that isn't in the box, which I just found at the store yesterday. And this is uh, from Fatsa, it's salmiaki, but it's smoky whiskey flavor, which seems pretty interesting to me. I am not a big fan of whiskey. Uh, salmiaki is okay, I've kind of gotten used to that now, but this is gonna be really, really interesting. I have a feeling this is gonna taste kind of like that terva, like tar. So it is the classic tiny little diamond salmiaki sweets surprisingly good. Ooh. I mean, if there is a whiskey flavor, it's very subtle. I'm not getting much smoky, but really nice flavor. Oh, these were quite interesting. The whiskey. Yeah, I heard that you like Yeah, let's try them. Uwak. No? Uwak. 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 You said it didn't taste of whiskey. Do you think it tasted like whiskey? Yeah. Of, of, of. Burnt. Mm. Smoky whiskey. Mm. Really? Oh. Okay, well ignore everything I said about the whiskey flavor. <laughs> <laughs> or you can hear it. <laughs> if you like salmiaki, definitely give these a whirl. Uh, I mean, they're great. Four out of five. I'm gonna get this one kind of out of the way. This is a, a Lakritzi bag. And in this bag, they have uh, all sorts of different licorice candies. And none of them are particularly interesting, but uh, I'm gonna try them all and see if anything stands out. So, kind of as I expected, a great little bag if you love licorice, uh, but nothing special, uh, two out of five. There are a few bits in this one which aren't super duper interesting. Like for example, we've got these, uh, I guess, new, uh, sticks, so there's a uh, Turkin Pippuri, there's Dumle, which is interesting, Tutti Frutti, man, fuck, I love their Tutti Frutti these days. All of these very, very popular, so I'm interested to try these. So this is the Turkish Pebo. It's a little blue interior. Presumably licorice on the outside, is it? Well, let's see if it's strong. Oh, kind of feels like the flavor is changing as I'm chewing. Quite good, even though my face says otherwise. <laughs> it's kind of sour in the middle, and on the outside, of course, you get the licorice, but not hot by any means. Definitely not hot, but yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's a taste roller coaster. That's what I'm gonna call that. I've just seen on the wrapper, it says hot and sour. Not sure about the hot part, but definitely sour, the middle. Pretty nice, I'm gonna give that a three. Okay, Tutti Frutti. <laughs> okay, so the Tutti Frutti one, it looks like something from an alien planet. Kind of, maybe one of these. That's a Tutti Frutti bomb. Very sweet. Very tasty. Not bad. Two and a half. Ah, Dumle, Dumle, Dumle. One of my favorite Finnish candies of all time. And now they've put it in stick form. Mmm, very nice toffee smell. Kind of like the other two with uh, a chocolate filling, presumably. Let's try it. Mmm. Again, very, very sweet, but tasty. Tastes just like Dumle. That's gonna get a two and a half out of five as well. So funny enough, <laughs> my favorite one, I think, was the uh, Turkin Pippuri. And speaking of, they have made chocolate version of the classic Turkin Bipuri. So this has a two out of three flames. Uh, I don't really usually take much notice of that because they made one recently which was five flames or four or something. So I think they just kind of make it up as they, as they go along. Let's see, a classic look, presumably there's chocolate inside here. chocolate in the smell at least. Pretty spicy on the tongue straight away. So I just bit into it. Is that like not allowed? Do you guys think you should like have it in your mouth and let it kind of dissolve? Oh. Or is crunching allowed? Let's take a poll in the comments. Are you team crunch or team suck? 
Nobody wants to be on that thing. That is good. I'm actually gonna suggest that you, you do bite these because that releases the chocolate into the like spicy salami aki. And it's actually really good. So many things like a little burn in your throat, a little burn on your tongue, that flavor and the chocolate comes and kind of washes over it. I would actually say that this is my absolute favorite version of this. I, I do quite like the original, but yeah, I think this overtakes that. It's just so much flavor, so many different things going on, which sometimes can be a bad thing, but I really like it in this. I think I'm gonna have to give this five out of five. So we, in this box, we have a couple of cookie options. We've got um, the Islanti, uh, whatever these are, filled filled cookies. I've got the fire from the Turkey and Pippuri up my nose now. Ilgetcha, is this mint? I've kind of forgotten what, what these are all about, this uh, Islanti. Other biscuit that we have in here is Geisha. Oh, salty caramel chocolate biscuit. <laughs> oh, that speaks right. That speaks right there to me. And they even call them biscuits. Interesting, not cookies. All right, Islanti. Ah, oh, now I remember. Pear. Pear flavor. So there we go. A cookie. The pear flavor with chocolate. That actually works surprisingly well. And inside, here you can see we've got like a pear flavored cream. That actually works. And I vaguely remember being surprised by the Islanti flavor a couple of videos ago. Uh, would I choose them? Probably not, but they're still all right. Three out of five. Geisha salted caramel chocolate covered biscuits. Oh. It's like music to my ears. Okay, wow, we've got a little silver packaging inside. So as you can see, these are heart-shaped and on the outside looks like some kind of hazelnut sprinkles. Uh, I was expecting little salty, I don't know, salt bits or sea salt or something. Man, that is good. Very delicate, very delicate little, mm. I feel like you could have these at high tea with the queen, you know, that kind of bis biscuit. <laughs> but that is lovely. That is really, really good. You don't get much of the salty aspect of it, but it's okay because there's a, quite a lot going on. You don't want anything over, too overpowered. The salted caramel, like I say, is quite subtle. But everything else is quite subtle too, so it, it really works. These have to be five out of five as well. Two five out of fives in one box, wow. Okay, last two, and we are gonna go for this one next, another, Fatsa Blue Bar. This time with the, uh, what are they called? Avec. Aren't they like French pastels or something? And avec, of course, in French means with. Uh, that's about all I remember from five years of studying French. That, oh no, bonjour. <sighs> time well spent. So of course in this, expecting like a minty chocolate flavor, uh, which isn't always bad. It's not something I tend to choose but uh, sometimes it can be nice. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, lovely. We have a guest. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you wanna try this with me? Yeah. So this is the Avec. I know, why do you think I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the little... Uh, Sorry, it's so yeah, focused it's on focusing me. focusing on you, as does everyone else. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> little pieces in there. There's a crunch, it's, it's like they've just put- A little crunch in it. A little crunch in there. Yeah, I'm not tasting much. It doesn't taste, it doesn't have that signature like- Isn't it minty avic, usually? Yeah, flavor. It's not, it tastes a little bit more like the American pastels. Yeah. Mm. And I was just about they to say, they, they should make one with the American pastels, mm. but that's more or less it. I'm definitely not getting that minty flavor. Mm. But no, it's oh, the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There it comes. The aftertaste is quite minty. Mm. A mini bar. Now the last one is a mini bar of Fatsa Blue with a lemon yogurt. Ooh, that is controversial. Because first of all, we don't like yogurt with our chocolate. Mm -mm. Sometimes. And also. Speak for yourself. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we don't. And like also it. lemon. Yeah. Oh. This, this is why this is. Uh, Ch chosen to put this one last because yeah. it's uh, lemon. We're very skeptical, let's say. Kind of reminds me a little bit of my youth. I think there was a pudding which tasted just like that. I'm so sorry. Anyway. I mean, it's not terrible. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, wrap anything in chocolate. It's very, be right. it's very lemony. <clears throat> so it's it's maybe too lemony for yeah. me. Uh, um, it's gonna be a two out of five. For a me. two, yeah, I would agree with that. And my my favorite was uh, I mean, out of the two, out of the geisha and the uh, Turkish peber. Peber. Turkin pipuri. Right? 
Is that how Turkin. It? Turkin. 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 It's not a double K. Say it again. Turkin. Turkin. This was my favorite after a Finnish lesson. <laughs> yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have tried any of these, which are mostly all out in the store now, I think, uh, let us know which one is your favorite or which one you think you'll like. Uh, in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, as always, please click the like button. And if you're new around here, you can subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs>